When it comes to one of, if not the most impactful player in all of college basketball, RJ Davis is most definitely at the top of that list. And despite only standing at around six foot tall and 180 pounds, he's always carried that New York grit and competitive edge in every single game he's played in which did allow him to go from under the radar to one of the best high school players in the entire country. This is the RJ Davis story. R.J. Davis was born on October 21st, 2001 in White Plains, New York to Robert and Vanessa Davis. Now as a toddler, because of all the energy and competitiveness that he had, his mother would give him the nickname Weasel. And he stated, quote unquote, my mom still calls me that till this day because they are ferocious little animals. They may not look like they are aggressive, but they are deep down. So she gave me that nickname. Now his father would teach him how to be a dog on the basketball court earlier on in his career because that is the same exact approach that he had back in his day as he had an impressive basketball legacy of his own with a remarkable record of 2,118 points and this was without the three-point shot. Robert went on to set a school record at Mercy College from 1982 to 1986. So his influence on the sport really rubbed off on RJ as he came up as a kid. On the court early on, RJ really displayed that New York tight flair in this game. His tight superior handle along with his elite first step allowed him to operate very comfortably which made it easier for him to get to certain spots on the court and from his court vision to his lights out jump shot even at an early age made him one of the most poised guards in practically every gym he played at as a sophomore he would attend archbishop stepanak high school in white plains new york Davis would lead the Crusaders to a 27-5 overall record in the CHSAA Cities Championship, as well as the New York Federation Championship during his sophomore season. Now, also during his sophomore year, he would unfortunately suffer an injury which kept him out of playing in the summer circuit. But as he returned for his junior season, while standing at around 6'1", he averaged 25 points, 7 rebounds, 4 assists, and 2 steals per game, and finished it all off being named Named Journal News Westchester Putman Player of the Year while helping his team reach the city championship game. Now at this point in time, he was ranked as a four-star recruit, but still was kind of under the radar as he was ranked 197th by 24-7 Sports earlier in 2019. But Davis would do the unthinkable and truly make a name for himself. That summer, as he participated in the NBA Top 100 camp, his impressive play would allow him to win MVP, but also was able to win MVP of the Steph Curry camp. And because of the significant improvement that he made, coming into his final year of high school davis was widely considered as one of the best players and one of if not the best point guard in his class of 2020 which featured other high school sensations like Cade Cunningham, Sharif Cooper, Jalen Suggs, and more. Now, RJ would go on to average 27 points, 8 rebounds, 5 assists, and 2 steals, while being named a McDonald's All-American, as well as Mr. New York Basketball. The four-star recruit would go on to sign a letter of intent to play college basketball at the University of North Carolina over the likes of Georgetown, Marquette, and Pittsburgh, and he would join a pretty loaded freshman club class, which consisted of five-star recruits like Caleb Love, Walker Kessler, and Dayron Sharp. Now, just like a lot of talented freshmen coming in, it was a bit of a learning curve for him. RJ did make 10 starts and 29 appearances that season while averaging eight points, two rebounds, and two assists while shooting 35% from the floor. As a sophomore, he would be granted the keys to the starting point guard position and was a member of the Iron Five starting lineup that led North Carolina to the 
incredible run of the 2022 Final Four, while playing alongside Armando Baycott, Brady Manick, Leaky Black, and no other than Caleb Love. Davis would even break his career high in the second round of the NCAA tournament, scoring 30 points in the Tar Heels' upset victory over Baylor, which made him the first Tar Heel to score 30 points and post five rebounds and five assists in an NCAA tournament game. Carolina has not surrendered though. Here's Davis. Davis is fouled and it goes! RJ Davis a chance at a three-point play. Davis would even go on to lead his crew all the way as far as the national title game where he put up a double-double. 15 points, 12 rebounds, but unfortunately it just wasn't enough. Slipped underneath. They go to Love. Love's gonna be the one to take it. Puts up the shot. It's off! The game is over and Kansas completes the biggest championship. Now coming into his next season, despite the Tar Heels preseason number one ranking, they honestly struggled all year. Missing the NCAA tournament and ending the year with a 20 and 13 overall record. Now he did start in all games and averaged a solid 16 points, five rebounds and three assists. Following his junior season, RJ announced that he would come back for his senior campaign. And the type of player that he's grew into this season is truly amazing. UNC is currently having a solid season so far as they now have an 18 and 5 overall record and Davis could possibly be the college basketball player of the year. He's currently ranked ninth in the entire country in points per game at 22. He became the first player to lead UNC in scoring in seven straight games since Tyler Hansborough. Now that is clearly some elite company he's put himself in because Tyler Hansborough is an UNC legend and the team's all-time leading scorer. RJ Davis has always played with that chip on his shoulder, no matter what type of talent he went up against. And at every single level, he's never fell short of truly playing his game, which has not only allowed him to make a name for himself, but has also allowed him to represent New York as well. I think I just had a really long talk with myself this past summer, and just from a mental standpoint, just to go into my senior year with, you know, filled with joy and no regrets. I want to have a, a special year and uh, not look back on this, it's always going to do this a little bit better or why not take that risk. Um, kind of just stepping out of my comfort zone a little bit, taking more risk and just believing in myself more. I think that's what I've uh, really rallied in with myself and um, understanding my true potential. And I think that's what why I'm in that mode right now. And with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, this is the RJ Davis story.